right guys, H4T, and I wanted to show everyone a little package that I picked up used the other day off of someone, so I'm going to lay everything out on the table, let you guys know what I got, and also tell you what I paid for it, and a couple other things that I got going on. Okay, start off with the Remington UMC 180, 180 grain, 250 round mega pack. Fifty round box of 180 grain blazer. Another fifty round box of 180 grain blazer. Okay. Magtech. Fifty round box of 180 grain. Okay, these are going to be interesting to try out. I've read some stuff up on this ammo and. It really doesn't work the way that they had reported it would work when it first came out, but I heard it's fun to shoot jugs and stuff with. So this is the uh, Agula. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Agula. I hear it so many different ways. Uh, 40 Smith & Wesson IQ is what they were called. Center fire. And they say that these are the first intelligent bullet. <laughs> Let me get one of them out of here and show it to you. And just real briefly, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what it does. Okay, if you can see the hollow point there. <sighs> see how if this broke apart, you'd basically have three pieces there. See where the divots are? Well, when this uh, impacts something, it splits into three pieces and travels in three parallel directions, but apart from each other. It splits totally apart. So, one box of those, another box of those, uh, my favorite, my favorite, uh, Corbon, 350, these are 357 SIG, all this is 40 right here, and this here is 357 SIG, 125 grain jacketed hollow point. Most of you people know that Corbon, for me, it's where it's at. And uh, very good reliability and performance always out of Corbon ammunition. Okay. Okay, a Storm Lake conversion barrel for G23 to 357 SIG. So you just drop this in your G23 and add the magazines and you are good to go. Okay, okay two 357 SIG magazines to go along with that barrel. Oh, more ammo. I forgot. There is uh, 357 SIG ammo in here. Let's see if I even have a place to put this. Mm. I'll just set that off to the side right here. So, a total of over 500 rounds right there. Then the uh, Storm Lake 357 SIG conversion barrel that takes a G23 to 357 SIG. Two 357 SIG magazines. Okay. One 40 cal. 13 round magazine. Another 40 cal, 13 round magazine. Um, another 40 cal. Uh, this is, I guess, an 18 round magazine. Now, I've never messed with these extensions with these extension deals no more or before so maybe I'll go ahead and do some testing on this and let you guys know what I think of it I have no idea how this works but it's an 18 rounder um, this I don't know if I'd rely on this just because of the things I've heard 
about these mags, but this is a sheer 29 round 40 cal magazine for the Glock. Maybe I can test this too, but no way I'd ever want to trust my life on that magazine. And that's just going by what I've heard. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Okay, and then last but not least is this little guy here. You know what? I'm going to have to move this box out of here. The Glock 23C. Okay, so before I get into some other stuff, I'll tell you guys right now that for everything you see here that I've just shown you, over 500 rounds of ammo, I paid $550 for everything used. So I'd say that's a pretty good deal, a deal that I could not refuse. <laughs> Uh, I had a G23C a long time ago, and I got rid of it, and I wished I never would have. I had three G23s, and a guy had a gun that I wanted, and he wanted to trade me for the G23C. So I figured, well, you know, I've got two more. So I'll go ahead and trade the G23C, and after it was gone, I wished I never would have, have done it. So, this isn't the exact gun that I owned, of course, but I now have it back. 23C, and the 357 conversion barrel. So, now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the conversion barrel in there, and let you guys see what it looks like. Nothing in chamber, of course, all guns are cleared before the camera ever goes on. Okay. Okay. He even had the steel captured spring in there. I did not put that in there. I also got something else about this gun coming that I'll tell you guys about here in a second. Okay, so. There we go. I have never fired or messed with 357 SIG yet, so it'll be a new experience, something that I could do some videos on and maybe give you guys some info about, you know, my opinions. Like maybe take this out, shoot it for the first time on film, and let you guys know, you know, what I think about it right then and there. Now let's get her back on there. Trying to do this from behind the camera and tripod. Let me make sure it's spring seated, guys. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so there is the 357 SIG barrel. Of course, this one will not get any benefits from the porting because it's a solid barrel, standard rifling. There's what the front of it looks like, if it'll focus for me. So there it is, a G23 to 357 SIG conversion. As you can see, it fits in the barrel hood very nicely, just like it should. And that's how they make them, to be able to do that. Okay, so... Here's the deal. Like I told you, um, I got this deal for $550 with everything you see, over 500 rounds of ammo. And uh, I wanted to add something, though, right away to the gun, so I already ordered it and it's on its way. And that is the XS Big Dot sight system, which is also night sights. Now, I gotta say that the Big Dot sight system, I believe it to be the best combat handgun sights that there is on the market today. And I adamant, I am adamant about that. They work great. 
they were so easy for me to get on. And for me, I've been shooting Glocks for numerous amount of years. I mean numerous. And from the first time I had a gun I bought used with the XS Big Dot sights, the first time that I shot that gun with those sights, having never even seen them before, my groups were immediately better than what they normally would have been with just a standard Glock. So that's really saying something. You know, everybody's a little different, and you might have a different opinion on what you like on your gun or whatever. But, you know, I used to think that, hey, you know, that big, the big, what they call the golf ball in front, I thought it was too big to pinpoint anything. And I got to tell you, I was totally wrong on that. Whatever you put that golf ball on is what that bullet hits if you do your part and you keep the gun straight when you pull the trigger. So those excess big dot night sights are on the way. And that'll pretty much complete it. And I'm ready to roll with this thing. So just wanted to show you that. I always like having some of the C, the compensated versions in my collection. Because they're not ones that you see all the time. Yeah, you can go order them and whatnot, but you just don't see them out there in stores all the time as much as you do the standard Glocks. And, of course, they're stamped C on the, sl on the slide as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let, let me know what you think about that deal. I figure if you take off the price of the accessories, I probably got about... 220 to 240 dollars total into that g23 and you can't beat that you know you got to buy your ammo anyway if you're going to shoot so that's it and i am happy <laughs> all right guys until next time this is h4t i'll be sure to do a full review of the excess big dot night sites they are on their way until then i am out of there.